Hello. I'm loving this new look. I'm not quite sure what happened here, but I tried to go for the dark under the eyes and the gold and the the drama, you know? The drama that comes with um, what I'm about to say. So basically, last night my cats ran away, all three of them, and only one came back, my, my cat Amber. So I left the door open all night and all day today, and they didn't come back. So, I keep going to the door to check if they're there, and I left the door open, but then I locked it at an hour ago. I said, you know what, I, I don't think they're coming back, you know? So, so, two of them are gone now, and I'm very worried for them, but I hope to God that they're protected, you know? Because <laughs> they're house cats, you know? I don't think they know how to rummage and, and find food for themselves, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm cooking myself some fish and potatoes, and um, also, basically, I've been so busy watching um, anti Megan and Harry videos that I, I basically I I was looking up how to care for your rabbit's teeth, right? But it, in case, but by mistake, I wrote how to care for Harry's teeth. <laughs> You know, like that's how much I'm watching all those videos about Megan and Harry and how bad they are or how good they are, you know. <clears throat> so I'm like, how how to care for Harry's teeth? No, I I'm not caring for Harry's teeth. <laughs> Only my rabbit's teeth, you know. Because I saw a picture of a rabbit that grew its teeth too long, so I'm getting nervous. I'm like, I hope my rabbit doesn't get that. So it it said, you know, basically you need a um. Give it a lot of hay and fiber and all that stuff, so it should be healthy, you know? Um, there's my rabbit, in case you're curious. <laughs> and, um, I was having this discussion with this older man that I met on, um, the app, the dating app. And he was, like nervous like he's nervous to meet me because I didn't get the vaccine for the COVID you know <clears throat> I told him look I didn't um I didn't I got tested every week since the beginning of January last January for a year and I didn't have COVID that's number one number two even if I do get COVID it's not gonna kill me <laughs> I told him look if I die from Corona, I'll be very surprised. I'll be shocked. I'll be, I'll be, sh I'll, when, if I die from Corona, I will be very shocked, you know? I'll be surprised, you know? So he started laughing. He's like, how can you, when you're dead, you're dead. How can you be surprised? <laughs> I was like, well, I, I don't believe I'm going to die from Corona, you know? Like, I believe I'm going to be living a long time. God willing, I mean, not God willing, or whatever. Whenever my time is up, my time is up, you know? I told him, look, okay, I understand he's at risk because he's an older gentleman, but for the average person, they recover, you know? Like, out of 9 million people in Israel, 5,000 died. And that's not even 1% of the population, you know? And they're making, like, a whole big thing about it, you know? Like, calm down, you know? Calm down. Yeah, so that's the story about my um, cats. In a way, I know it's going to sound bad, but in a way I'm relieved that they ran away because I live in a studio and it was getting too much, you know? Also, I believe that cats, they always wanted to run out. They always want to go out. They don't want to be indoors, you know? Especially because I live in a small place, you know? So now they have their freedom, you know? <laughs> this is going to be the third cat. That ran away. Two just ran away and another one ran. I believe cats are meant to be free and um, that's the story about it, you know? I'm going to continue watching more Harry and Meghan conspiracy theories. A lot of people believe that Meghan was never really pregnant. She used a surrogate because she did something weird with um, her son Archie's birth certificate, you know? And um, there's a lot of conspiracy theories flying around, so I'm, I'm busy watching and learning and <laughs> listening to Megan Bashers 
and pro Meganers, you know, all the arguments, you know, oh, she's pulling down the royal family, oh no, she's, she's amazing, you know, they abused her, meanwhile, when she married Harry, I believe she was an adult, you know, she was like 36, she's not a child, you know, when you marry someone, you make a choice to be in that family, you know, <laughs> and she's not a naive child, you know, this Megan, she, She's not a victim. She knew exactly what she's getting into, you know? Even if she says she didn't. She's a 40-year-old woman now, you know? She's she's a woman. She's not, you know, buck up, you know? That's my opinion on Megan, whatever. Um, everyone makes choices, you know? Not everybody... Both sides are, are equally responsible, you know, usually. It's not like... With everything, with marriage, with everything, you know, both sides are usually, it takes two to tangle, you know, that's what I believe, she's not such a victim, you know, that's what I think, you know, like when, if someone gets married to someone, they made that choice and they choose a lifestyle that they married into, you know, they could choose to leave it eventually, they don't need to stay in it. But whatever they chose, they chose. And as an adult, not someone who's, like, forced into marriage as an 18-year-old, but, like, as an adult, someone like Megan, you know, you know, she's not a child, you know? She, she can hold her own. I'm not worried about her. Anyhow, that's the story about everything that transpired today. And um, tomorrow I'm off to work again. And um, see you next time.